IMCA Stock Cars, the class too damn tough to tame. On the pole for heat race number one from Sioux City, that's a 55JR of Greg Taylor. To his outside from Denison, the 10 of Mike Stapleton. Row number two to the inside from Galva, that's the 66 of Mike Vondrak. To his outside from Brita, the 92B Flying Brian Blessington. Tail and Charlie, our defending track champion, seven time national champ from Harlan, the 63, Mike Nichols. Green is out, and Taylor and Stapleton side by side through one, but coming out of two, it is going to be Mike Stapleton with the lead. Greg Taylor second. The battle is for third, as Blessington has it. Vondrak wants it. Oh, contact between Blessington and Nichols. Nichols now going to get by for fourth. Meanwhile, Vondrak's going to take third and start working his way on the rear bumper of Greg Taylor. Meanwhile, Mike Stapleton, he's hanging her out high, wide and handsome, the Kenny Wallace line, and it's working for that Eliminator chassis. Nichols, Taylor, Vondrak, I'm sorry, Stapleton, Taylor, Vondrak, Nichols, and Blessington. Looks like Greg Taylor, the only one not hanging it up right along the cush as he is actually going to the low side in three and four. Now one and two, he goes, he follows in Mike Stapleton's tire tracks. Bondrack right in his tire tracks. Nobody really able to gain any ground. Once again, Mike Stapleton with the lead. Now Vondrak, he has caught the back bumper of the 55 JR of Taylor. He's at his quarter, cannot quite get it done. Taylor closes the door on Vondrak. They're gonna go back into three and four. Once again, Taylor to the low side, Vondrak to the high side. Not quite able to get it done. Taylor's gonna remain in second. White flag is out, one lap to go for Mike Stapleton. Now Mike Nichols has caught the battle for second and third with Taylor and Vondrak. But even if he passes him, I don't think he's got enough time. As they come through three and four one more time, it's going to be Mike Stapleton gonna pick up for heat race number one, Greg Taylor second. At the line, Mike Nichols nips Vondrak for third, so Vondrak will be fourth. And flying Brian Blessington will round out the top five. As Vondrak finally finding his way back to the pit area, but once again, Mike Stapleton just picked up the heat race win. Can Corey follow? As you hear the motors rev up, we're agreeing with the heat race. It's gonna be side by side. Knopp and Stapleton. Stapleton up on the high side. He's gonna take over the lead. Three wheel motion is gonna be the HC. Right up along the cush, right where that car likes to eat. He's gonna do it again through three and four, and again, picking the left front up off the ground, leave the left front at home. Corey Stapleton is all alone up in the lead. Keith Knopp second, Joel Tickets third, Austin Brands rounding out the field. Right now, Corey Stapleton able to open up to about a two and a half car length advantage over Knopp, but Knopp is starting to feel a little bit of pressure from Tickets. Tickets only about a car length and a half back. They're gonna be coming down halfway home, three down, three to go. For Corey Stapleton. Of course, you've heard the story. That is that 2017 sniper speed. Elijah Zevenbergen's backup car. The high side tickler, Kyle Strickler, putting it in the big dance in the stock cars at Supernats last year. You heard all the stories. Picking up a feature win third night out at IED Speedway last week, and obviously that car is bad, dominant, fast and he's showing it right now with two laps to go wide flag is out for Corey Stapleton the field has pretty much set themselves up barring any issues this is how they are going to finish 
as they come out of two. It's amazing how much body roll that that 8C car has as he puts it up on the cush. Picks up the left front, but it's going to be Corey Stapleton bringing home the heat race win. Keith Knopf second, Joel Tiggis third, and Austin Brands will round out your top four. Kids, we only have one signed up for Junior Flagman. If you're going to be here next week and you want to partake, you need to get up here. You have two races left, and we're going to draw the name. Here they come, race fans, one more time. Let them hear you. You can only hope to contain them because you can't beat them. The Malvern Banks Super Late Models here at Crawford County Speedway. All right, race fans, it is time to place the bets. It's showtime now. Can the Iowa boys stay undefeated in 2019? Jason O'Brien and Nick Deal on the front row. The field will come to life off of turn number four. Green flag is up, and we are underway here at Crawford County Speedway. Into turn one, Jason O'Brien will have the early race lead, but Nick Deal's got the top shelf working for him. Deal sidesteps O'Brien right off the bat. The real deal takes the lead as they enter turn three. Ben Schaller and Jason O'Brien giving chase, but the real deal, the Crawford County Speedway track champion, will lead the opening circuit. Ben Schaller staying right to the inside, looking to go back to back here at Crawford County Speedway. Schaller able to sidestep O'Brien for the second spot. Bill Layton Jr. and Jason Rowan going side by side. Tyler Bruning right there in the mix as well. Deal comes around to lead lap two. Good run by Tyler Bruning on the outside lane to keep Josh Leonard at bay. Bruning looking to the inside of Rowan. That's for position number five on the speedway. Not going to happen. Rowan maintains fifth. Down the back straightaway. Look, now Leonard inside of Bruning. That's for sixth. Right behind Rowan. Kyle Burke looking to join the mix as well. Bill Layton Jr. able to sidestep O'Brien for that third spot as they come down the front straightaway. Now Bruning to the inside, looking to get the two-for-one deal. Here comes Leonard. Leonard on the top shelf, three wide for the fourth spot, and the Rookie of the Year competitor goes to fourth. Bruning back on the inside. Bruning and Leonard split O'Brien, and the Rock Man now goes to fourth. Excellent move by Tyler Bruning to get around Leonard as well as O'Brien. A lot of shuffling around from about eighth on back. As now Kyle Burke and Jason Rowan go toe to toe. That's for the sixth position. But Nick Deal absolutely checking out on this field early on. Rowan with a big charge on Burke and they make contact in return one. A little bit of hip check there from Jason Rowan. And trouble for Andrew Gazinski. The motor's gone up. Andrew Gazinski off the pace down the front straightaway and into turn number one. Looks like a bit of fluid right on the front straightaway. We'll see how long this goes for Green as Kaczynski has dropped it below the implement tires through one and two. Caution has come out. Caution on the speedway, five laps in for Andrew Kaczynski. So our first caution comes out for the 53 of Andrew Kaczynski, possibly the motor letting go there. A bit, a little puff of smoke and a fluid, a streak of fluid coming down the front straightaway as he entered turn one. The Malvern Bank Super Late Model Series will close out the month of June on Saturday, June 29th, with our first of, of three visits to the Junction Motor Speedway in McCool Junction, Nebraska, before we have our big Independence Day race on Thursday, July the 4th at US 30 Speedway. That, that race will be broadcasted here live on AdvantageRacing.tv, just like they are tonight. Caution lights are out across the Crawford County Speedway. Nick Deal, the hometown favorite, looking to keep the money here in Iowa and get his second win of the year. Off of four, back to green. Josh Leonard going right to the top shelf, cut off Jason Rowan there as they enter turn number one. Rowan back on the outside lane, able to power around Bruning for fifth. Meanwhile, Leonard sizing up Bill Layton Jr. That's for the third spot. Leonard drifts way up the track. That's going to allow Bruning and Burke to get three wide there. And Burke gets by both of them. 
Kyle Berg now into the top five. He goes to fourth. But it's only for a moment. Josh Leonard with a good head of steam off the top shelf. Pulls even with Burke. They're side by side down the back straightaway. Good race there for fourth between Kyle Burke and Josh Leonard. Burke, a former track champion here at the Crawford County Speedway, able to sidestep Leonard once again coming off turn four. Burke has got the bottom on lockdown. Meanwhile, for second raging on between Ben Schaller and Bill Layton Jr. Good run there for the 24. Now how about the run by Corey Zeitner? Started deep in the pack and now into the top 10. Excellent run for the 19 out of Bellevue. Meanwhile, Nick Deal continuing to hammer the cushion around here at the Crawford County Speedway. Only four laps away from the halfway mark. Nick Deal remains your leader. Ben Schaller is second. Bill Layton Jr. is third. Kyle Burke fourth. Josh Leonard, your top five. Tyler Bruning currently running sixth. Jason Rowan seventh. Brad Purdue is eighth. Corey Zeitner up to ninth. And Jason O'Brien rounds out the top ten. So an excellent run for Corey Zeitner. Starting 19th on the grid. He's up to ninth. Make it back to 10th. Looks like Brad Purdue able to sidestep him for that position. Good run for the Council Bluffs native. Now battle for second is on. Here comes Layton to the outside of Schaller as they enter turn one. Side by side going through turns one and two. Billy the Kid will sidestep the Barracuda for a moment. Layton just about won this race a couple years back till Jesse Sobbing stole it from him on the final corner. Layton drifts back up the track coming off turn four. And at the line this time, half car length advantage to Layton. Next time around will be the halfway mark. It's been a good one. Now Nick Deal enters lap traffic. First car to go a lap down will be Paul Conrad. Conrad will stay to the low side. Nick Deal's got the top shelf on lock. Meanwhile, that battle for second raging on between Schaller and Lane. This time Schaller had it. Here comes Tyler Bruning back on the attack. Bruning back into the top five as he gets side by side with Berg for fourth. Nick Deal looking to return the favor. I mean, he and Tyler Bruning had a little run in together during the main event at Marshalltown. It cost Deal a chance to win it. And now, caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Our second yellow flag looks like possibly debris on the speedway somewhere. So debris in turn number three is why we're under yellow. So our second caution of the main event comes out in turn, excuse me, turn number one looks like. Oh, we got a car stopped at the top of turn number one. I believe that's Brett Hopp. The all-time winningest driver, 83 Malvern Banks Super Late Model Series wins to the credit of the 14. So here we go. Nick Deal will bring the stampede off at of turn number four. They make their way back down to the green flag. We're back at it. Deal goes right back to work on the top shelf. Schaller not leaving that bottom for a moment. Jason Rowan looking to make the pass on Kyle Burke for fifth. Not going to happen. Meanwhile, Tyler Bruning able to get around the outside of Burke for fourth momentarily. Burke not giving up the bottom yet. Deal comes around to click off the next lap. 11 laps remaining here at the Crawford County Speedway. Nick Deal remains your leader. Ben Schaller is second. Bill Layton Jr. charging by in a close third. Fourth is Tyler Bruning. Kyle Burke, your top five. Then it's Jason Rowan, sixth. Josh Leonard, seventh. Corey Zeitner up to eighth. Brad Purdue, ninth. And battle for tenth between Blair Nordorf and Jason O'Brien. Nordorf has the spot coming off the third of the four. O'Brien back to 11th. Josh Leonard looking to get a good run off at turn number two. Closing in on Jason Rowan. That's for the sixth spot as they enter three. Good battle there. Meanwhile, Schaller staying true to the low side, and he's able to hold off Bill Layton Jr. Layton, your current series points leader, finished third out at I-80 Speedway, finished third at Marshalltown. I know he wants to get a couple more spots after this one. Layton currently running third again for the time being, but now looking to the outside of Schaller once again. Good run off the top, and here comes Tyler Bruning. Nick Deal continues to hammer the cushion around the high side of Crawford County Speedway. He's done this so many times in a modified. I let my buddy PJ mention he knows this track like the back of his hand. He's proven it tonight. Seven laps to go from his second career Malvern Bank Series win and his first at Crawford County. Deal shows the fast way around and he's just about ready to enter lap traffic again. Six laps to go this time at the flag stand. Battle for second raging on between Schaller, Layton, and Tyler Bruning. Layton's going to have the spot. 
That's the same move that cost him the feature a couple of years back when Jesse Salming passed him. Layton now to second. He'll take Tyler Bruning with him on the top shelf. Layton to second. Bruning to third. Bruning going for more as they enter three. Here comes the slide job from the Rock Man on Billy the Kid. Layton trying to cross over. Bruning has second at the stripe. Layton going to cross him over entering turn one. Battle is on. Gloves are off. Bruning another big crossover. Great duel for position number two. Tyler Bruning and Bill Layton Jr. putting on a clinic here in the closing laps as Deal continues to run away. Four laps to go for the real deal. Here comes Schaller back on the inside. Schaller right on the inside of Bill Layton Jr. That's for third. They're side by side for a moment. Layton pulls ahead off the top shelf. Lap traffic is double wide right in front of your leader with only three circuits remaining. How is Deal gonna navigate? Bruning closing in fast. Deal has got to be careful here. Lap car, Jason Wallace staying low, but Robbie Anderson is right there. Corey Zeiger with trouble, went off the edge, gets back on the track, we stay green. Two laps to go for Nick Deal, and Tyler Bruning is closing in fast. Here comes the Rockman. Deal off the top line. That's not going to help him, but he has to split traffic. Deal makes it through. Bruning looking for the slide. Look and the size them up, here we go. It's just like Marshalltown all over again. Bruning to the inside. They're side by side in the white flag. Oh man, and Bruning off the bottom of turn one. He takes the lead. Deal back to the inside, here we go. Into three, they make contact again. Deal crosses him off on turn number four at the line. Nick Deal will win at Crawford County Speedway. Tyler Bruning is second. Bill Layton Jr. is third, Ben Schaller fourth, and Kyle Burke will be your top five. Then it's Josh Leonard, Brad Perdue, Jason Rowan, Jason O'Brien, Blair Nordorf, your top ten. How about that one? It came down to those two in Marshalltown two weeks ago. This time he pays it off just right. Give it up, Farm Race fans. Your winner tonight from Walnut, Iowa, car number 55D, Nick Deal. Nick, my friend, welcome back to Victory Lane here at Crawford County Speedway. This time, not quite in a modified, but man, oh man, top shelf was your best friend tonight. Yeah, I, uh, I just kind of used what we always did the modified here and uh, kind of ran the track about the same way, and it, uh, it works pretty good. I tell you what, this is... Uh, it was getting pretty complicated there in the end. Closing laps, lap traffic was heavy. Tyler Bruning was coming at you full steam ahead. Take us through those last couple of circuits. Uh, I really didn't even know he was there uh, until he got in on the bottom on me. And uh, yeah, we might have got together a little bit, but you know, I was just repaying the favor for my Marshalltown, so that's how it goes. Yeah, we saw that, of course, and uh, of course tomorrow night, hopefully you get the car deal, uh, locked in again because we head out to Corning, Iowa tomorrow. What would it mean to you to pull off the weekend sweep? Uh, it'd be uh, it'd be great. We uh, we had a little bad luck, and hopefully we can just get back on the right track and just keep this going. Let's quickly thank some people to help you get the 55D down here. Uh, yeah, All Star Tire, uh, Jimmy's Egg, um, Allgaier Shocks, uh, Nebraska Auto Supply, Kendall Oil, Chadwick Towing. Um, just really everybody, my mom and dad, without them, I wouldn't be able to do this. So, you know, they give me the opportunity to do this every uh, week in and out. So, really, without them, that's the, that's the brains of the operation that get it going. Hey, sweet redemption. Job well done, and we'll see you tomorrow at Corning. Yes, sir. Thank you. How about it, race fans? One more time, your winner from Walnut, Iowa, car number 55D, Nick Deal. Of course, this being first night out, it is a draw, redraw. Hence the reason why you have everybody set where they are. RPMs are going to come up. We're green with the stock cars. Vondrak and Taylor side by side, but it's going to be Taylor winning the battle down into turn number one. And for a moment, they're three wide. Taylor Vondrak and Blessington. Now Keith Knopp up the middle. He's going to get to the inside of Nichols. Tried to make it three wide with Vondrak. And it's going to be Vondrak leading lap number one. Knopp and Taylor side by side. 
for that second spot, but now Nichols changing down to the low side. Once again, three wide. Now he's going to try to get underneath. Three wide for the lead. Taylor to the outside. Von Drack in the middle. Nichols to the inside. And as they come out of four, new leader, Nichols. Corey Stapleton just outside of that top five. He's hanging on the low side, trying to make something happen. But Von Drack and Taylor side by side for second. Here comes Blessington. Knobs in there too. They're all trying to battle it out, get behind the 20, the 63, and hope he makes a mistake. But wow, contact with all four drivers. Blessington, Knob, Von Drack, Taylor, all a little bit of contact. Meanwhile, Corey Stapleton catching up to that gaggle of cars. He's going to put it up on the cush. Can he make something happen? That's where he won his heat race, was up high. Is there anything left up there? It appears he is. Hey, he's going to pass Vondrak. Side by side with Knopf. That is going to be for fourth. Nichols starting to check out just a little bit. Give, give Stapleton fourth. Correction, fifth. Knopf right in front of him. Oh, Stapleton with a little high. How's your father to the rear bumper of the 10X of Knopf? Stapleton puts it right back on the cushion through one and two. This time going to lose just a little bit of ground to Knopp. Knopp a little bit lower, letting it drift out, coming out of the corners. Now he's going to, everybody's going to go down the bottom side, including Stapleton. It is Nichols, Blessington, Taylor, Knopp, and Corey Stapleton, your top five. Whoa! Corey Stapleton, wheel hop in the left front. Got into the back of Knob just ever so slightly, but man, it was like he was driving a low rider with hydraulics. Now Corey having to settle down, regroup, and see what he can possibly do to catch back up to Knob. While Nichols is checking out, another one of the defending track champs possibly going to park it in Van Wall Victory Lane and start 2019, where they left off in 2018. And as I say that, Austin Brand's around in one, in between one and two. And that's gonna change the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, a few, a few. Who thinks Corey Stapleton's gonna pass them all the win? Okay, well, popular money's on Stapleton right now. I had to check, make sure the mic was on. No, no love for the top three. We're going to find out seven laps were green. Stapleton underneath of Taylor. Now he's going to get to the outside and not can't quite catch up to him. That'll move Corey up to fourth. Meanwhile, Knopp starting to work on the 92B of Blessington. Taylor going to slide back up and take back fourth from Corey Stapleton. Oh, Corey! Little bit of a bobble. Now he's falling all the way back into the clutches of Vondrak for fifth and sixth. Meanwhile, Nichols continues to lead. Blessington pulls away from Knopp. He's going to see what he can possibly do with the 63. We're coming down three laps to go. Mike Nichols still leads Brian Blessington, Keith Knopp, Greg Taylor, Corey Stapleton. Then Mike Bondrack, Mike Stapleton finally starting to make some moves. Joel Tiggis, Austin Brands.
top six starting to spread out. Best battle is for sixth and seventh. Sorry, seventh and eighth. That is Mike Stapleton and the 82 of Tegas. Two laps to go. Two to go. Barring any uh, any unforeseen issues, we very well could have yet another defending track champ picking up their first win in the first points night of 2019 here at Crawford County Speedway. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. Mike Nichols picking up where he left off last year. He's gonna win. Brian Blessing in second, Keith Knopp third, fourth to Greg Taylor, and rounding out the top five is gonna be the 8C of Corey Stapleton. Mike, Mike Nichols, uh, season opener winner last night. You were ru running on one wheel down there in Stewart. Poor little Kara Webb there. You probably gave her a little bit of a heart attack in the grandstands. But uh, tell us about your run tonight, kid. It kind of got a little goofy there in the beginning. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, Denison's always racy, so uh, you, you can't get too carried away on the first lap. Uh, I fell back a couple spots. Knew if I just, you know, would, would uh, be nice and patient. Uh, everything would kind of balance its way out. Uh, it's always uh, a little bit favorable on the top and one and two, uh, on the bottom and three and four. Uh, with the late models here tonight, I didn't know how that was going to play out, but uh, uh, I saw Brian kind of sneaking in on the inside a couple of times there, so I, I didn't know. I, I got up front so fast that I, I didn't know if I was in the right groove, but it would all worked out. Well, congratulations on our season opener here for Wadrick Towing, and uh, good luck the rest of the weekend, and we'll see you next Friday, Mike. Sounds good. Thank you.